All right, welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, once again, I am the Van Life Gamer. Uh, this is only my second video. Uh, so if you stuck around for the first one, uh, you're now on the second one. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, again, don't want to waste a whole ton of time on in this introduction, so let's just jump on into it. We're playing Dark and Darker again. Um, get, I got to get those, uh, you know, get those gameplay hours in before the test uh, ends. Um, so let's just go ahead and check our inventory again here real quick. All right, so we got enough healing items. Let's dive right in. Okay. Nobody, uh, no super geared people running around. So yeah, uh, you know, thank you so much uh, for tuning in again. Uh, you know, I, I haven't had a chance to look at uh, comments and uh, feedback from the last video. So um, if you had something in particular that you were looking for, uh, any comments, suggestions, uh, etc., you know, I haven't had a chance to read it, but don't worry, I will. And here we go. Pull out our bow. We're probably going to go to the left so we can continue to skirt around the edge of the uh, main zone. Try to reduce our potential for running into enemies. So it looks like we got a team of two over there. We can do it, but. Take some pot shots. <laughs> Pretty sure I got him with that one. going on. I don't know what that was about. I've never been blocked by the door like that before. By the way, I don't think those guys were too geared. Even still, I don't want to deal with them. Head on. I don't want to be stabbed by any of these traps here. <coughs> and I got stabbed anyways. Fantastic. Okay, I hear those guys downstairs. Keep an eye out in case they come up from behind us. Okay, doesn't look like they're chasing after us, thankfully. Okay, and uh, just a reminder from last time, you know, I do apologize if I do uh, go silent here every now and then. Uh, unfortunately, this game is a bit, um, there are, you know, significant consequences to uh, running into other players and stuff, especially as a solo player, so it is kind of imperative that I be able to uh, hear people coming and, and try to avoid them. Or get the drop on them, depending on what the situation is. Like. So, if 
Unfortunately, I do not hear anybody. Unfortunately, I So I don't think I mentioned it in the last video, but you know, I hope everybody had a good uh, holiday, whatever it is you were uh, up to. I hope you got to spend it with your family and friends. Sorry, I thought I heard somebody. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know, I hope you just had a, had a great holiday. You got to stuff your face with some good food, good company. I got this uh, mini boss uh, ghost slash white guy up to the left. I don't want to get his attention. Okay, I think we're in the clear. I don't know where that arrow came from previously. Doesn't seem like it's our problem. I think I actually just heard that portal. But it was way off in the distance, off to my left. See what you got. Eh, some goodies. Not a lot. Loot a little bit and not have this portal stolen from us. Any more chances than that. Just get in, get out, get some gold, stash it away, and move on. Wrong one. Here we go, collector. As usual, we'll sell off our, all of our little shiny trinkets. Not a terrible haul. Let's head back. Stash. Uh, I do want to keep this helmet and the candy canes. Those other two items don't matter, so we'll go back and sell those. Okay, and just as soon as we can get this gold stashed away, We'll be on to the next round. So yeah, this is one of the uh, more tedious aspects of this game, uh, in my opinion, uh, and unfortunately, but, you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. 
it, again, uh, I do want to remind everybody this is a uh, very early development. It's more, more like an alpha. So the fact that it's as smooth as it, as it is, um, and that they've given us access to it is just fantastic. So can't really complain. And here we go. So nobody super uh, geared up. And here we go. Reload these uh, arrows real quick and get to it. I'm probably going to go to the right. Again, trying to avoid being in the uh, center of attention, so to speak. I'd much rather be on the periphery as a uh, solo player. As you can see, I am kind of looking back over my shoulder quite a bit. Uh, there is another spawn point not too far behind me there. I don't want to potentially have somebody running up behind me. Hopefully I can get this guy down quick so I can get on to looting. fighting them. I think it's, oh, nope, it's two players. Yep, we're definitely out of here. Okay, so we got these little bug guys up here. That's uh, pots there, there. Pots and vases. I need some chests. There we go. So I don't hear those uh, players sneaking up behind me. So yeah, I don't hear anybody around us uh, for right now. Ooh, this is a pretty good area for loot. Sounds like it's untouched. I can hear the zombie over here. I don't see the zombie down the hall, though. So the guys over here so looks like we're in the clear nobody else has been down here we shouldn't have to worry too much about anybody sneaking <laughs> well, the bigger concern is probably the lack of loot could not get 
that bug to come down and shoot them. And we're just gonna go ahead and take the zombies instead. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna force the pot shot them with the bow, even though it's not my more damaging weapon, because the falchion, or however you pronounce it, uh, unfortunately is more of a slashing weapon and it wouldn't make it through the ball. <laughs> But this shouldn't be too terrible. It's a little tedious, I guess. Oops, took the bar. Oh, come on, drop already. Hey, buddy. Oops, that's not bad. Another one. And I missed. Fantastic. Okay, finally. Jeez. Okay, we definitely are behind the eight ball here. We need to get moving. Fortunately, I still do not hear anybody. I don't see any signs of anybody. Still don't hear anybody, and uh, fortunately we're right on the edge of the playable area, so we don't have to. We're not being forced out of the loot area here. Although I see the timer down there now, we've only got about five minutes left, so we are going to have to start moving with some sense of urgency. Not necessarily a bad thing. Oop, now I hear somebody. There's two more somebody's there. So this isn't good, I'm kind of boxed in. Still hear him, hear him occasionally moving around over there. But I can't tell which direction he's going with it. So, a little bug. There we go. Okay, we're going to have to start moving here real soon. We're getting down to three minutes. Still haven't seen the down portal. <coughs> so 
somebody's over there. So they're not going to make it over here in time to be a problem for me. That's how we do it. Okay, let's get to our merchants here, sell off our junk, and go again. Okay, not too shabby. Let's see, get to our weaponsmith here. Mm. Might keep that, I guess. I don't need those, though. Go back, buy some health pots. More treasury uh, stuff here. Get some more of these gold bags. So we can load them up. And then... Try to get to that next round. Like I said, uh, I've said uh, before. Unfortunately, this is one of the more tedious aspects of uh, of the game. But I do hope and expect that at some point they'll uh, kind of address this, so you don't have to sit here and spend you know long periods of time just putting gold into your pouches for no reason. Drop that off, drop this off, and I'll just put that there. Okay, and let's go. Okay, it looks like I'm not gonna get to check out our competition this time around. So yeah, we've done a, a few runs here now. Uh, you know, thank you for sticking around uh, for as long as you have. Um, really does mean a lot. Uh, you know, I, I am fully aware of my shortcomings, unfortunately, as a, a new, you know, somebody brand new to uh, YouTube. Uh, so the fact that you have bothered to watch it this far uh, is great. Thank you so much. And uh, like an idiot, I can pop my uh, health uh, perk for no reason. Okay, let's see. We're probably going to go to the left, as usual, trying to uh, stay on the periphery as f uh, much as possible. So there should be a lot of traps around here. We're going to try to avoid those. There's also a spawn uh, point up here. Oh, shoot. That was annoying. Also another spawn point right there. I don't hear anybody, but you know, you never know. So it's probably a waste of time coming down here. The uh, two chests on the uh, sides here are usually uh, just mimics. And that one in the middle is a lock. I don't have a pit lock. It's usually kind of a waste of time. Let's at least break some pots here. Uh, we've completely completed. Fantastic. Nothing in the pot. <laughs> awesome. Oh. 
That was a fantastic waste of time, but oh well, it happens. So then, let's go to the left here and see if anybody's come through. Somebody definitely has come through. question is going to be, are they still around somewhere? Take out these guys. Oops. going to take a little while, unfortunately. Tried to speed it up what, by getting that power uh, shrine, but uh, this is kind of like a little mini boss, so he is going to take quite a few hits for me to get down. Looking like a pin, uh, pin cushion already, and still not down yet. Also, we need to get this uh, skeleton archer and that little spawn urn for the spiders. Okay, now we should be ready to enter that area. <coughs> try to get the loot. before we're forced out of here. Nothing. Fantastic. Alright, I'm at least gonna get that healing uh, or health shrine. Okay, looks like the zone has stopped. <laughs> One chest that I thought I was gonna get. Awesome. Well, at least uh, we've been fortunate so far. I haven't run into any other players. So that's a positive. As much as I want to uh, be a little more proactive and engage in the PvP, uh, as I mentioned before, unfortunately, this game uh, is kind of... Uh, heavily dependent on your gear and uh, the number of uh, enemies that you're facing, you know, is very consequential. It's not like a first-person shooter. You can just run up from behind somebody and destroy them before they even know what hit them. Especially if you're not super geared like I am not right now. So the possibility of me, uh, you know, sitting up on somebody and just obliterating a whole squad is pretty much nil. <laughs> okay, I think that was a skeleton I heard. All right, getting down to the five minute mark here. Gonna have to start thinking about an escape plan. Turn. There you go. Come on, spiders. Hey, okay, still haven't seen any players, haven't heard any portals spawning. And again, down to the wire here. I have to keep 
kill some zombies here. play area is centered around one of those really high risk, high reward areas that's got the mini boss white type uh, character, Banshee, whatever it's called, and a uh, skeleton guardsman usually, another type of uh, mini boss I believe. So it's definitely an area that I can't take on. Still not seeing any portals. So that's kind of bad news. We're down to the almost the three minute mark here. Like I don't have much of a choice but to go in here. Ooh, there's a portal. There's the white. There's another portal. Gonna try to get out right in front of his face. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that was stressful. <laughs> that was pretty stressful, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so it looks like we're at about the 30 minute mark here. Uh, as I continue to talk, I'm gonna go ahead and try to sell some of this stuff off. Um, Again, you know, thank you so much uh, for uh, watching and getting through uh, yet another video. Um, you know, I hope uh, I hope you're finding some uh, entertainment value here. Uh, again, as I've mentioned before, I haven't quite had a chance to uh, view uh, any of the comments and feedback from the last video. Uh, so don't worry, I will in fact read and respond to your comments and uh, suggestions. Uh, so if you have any more uh, after the you know this video as well, uh, and again if you want to talk about anything uh, uh, gaming related, van life related, um, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, discuss my personal life because uh, I do want to uh, kind of keep uh, that under wraps. But if you want to talk about things more generally uh, about van life, what it's like, um, any of my kind of uh, tips, suggestions uh, for uh, how to do it. Uh, you know, effectively, uh, save money, and all that kind of fun shit. Uh, yeah, just uh, leave questions, comments, concerns, all that kind of stuff in the comments section down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.